Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a process video for you guys and I'm super excited about this one. It is um, the ladies that are joining me this month for the video a day. Um, it is Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life's birthday today. It's her 30th birthday. So happy birthday, sweetheart. I hope your day is amazing. Um, so we decided... Um, I think most of us are joining in. There are probably a couple people that aren't able to, but um, some of us decided to do a birthday layout for today for her birthday. She asked us if we wanted to do it, so we, um, some of us decided to. So this is going to be my layout for her birthday. Yay! So I am using the Coco Vanilla Studio in Make-A-Wish collection. Um, I've had this collection sitting in my stash for quite a while, you guys. Um, I don't even remember, honestly, where I got it from because it's really hard to find. I went online try and searched to find it to see if I could link it below, and I couldn't find it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you guys might have better luck trying to find it. Um, I'm digging through my big basket of ribbon, trying to find a color to go in between the two um, layers of paper, but it's that's just too thick. It's too much. I wanted something thinner, so I'm going to end up not using it, but I sit here and kind of fumble with it or fumble with it for a while. So the two photos that I have are of my daughter on her fourth birthday. She is now seven. She'll be eight next month. So um, she had a Little Mermaid birthday party. And this is when she was opening her gifts. And the one picture she's smiling and then the other picture she looks like she's in deep thought just thinking. I think that that was after she opened all of her presents and the day was almost over and she was tired. It was a pool party and it was outside in August and hot. And so I just thought that those two pictures were perfect to put together on the page. So right now I am just kind of pulling out pieces from the ephemera pack that I think might work. Now I probably, I don't think I'm gonna use all of these. Um, actually, I think I might use most of them though. So I pulled out some stars, some labels, a tag, a bow, um, some florals, and some butterflies. So there's a nice mix of things. This collection is really pretty. The colors are really, really, really pretty. Um, and so I'm just going to play around here with some layers. And, um, yeah, my daughter, you'll see my daughter's little fingers quite a few times she was trying to help me um, figure out where to put things uh, for this layout. She was in my craft room with me trying to help. So yeah. So right now I'm just trying to figure out where I want everything to go. I really, really like the way that that's looking. I had this happy die cut from Heidi Swap. Well, I cut it out with one of her dies with my die cutting machine with my Big Shot. I will leave a link to the die below and I will leave a link to the Big Shot machine that I use below as well. Um, and that happy was just kind of blending into the background. So I grabbed my Distress Ink and picked Raspberry with my little blending tool here. And I went ahead around that um, light pink with that darker pink um, ink. <laughs> So I'm actually not going to end up using that die cut because I went in a completely different direction. I was like, oh, happy birthday. That'll be, you know, the title. And then I was like, that's not original at all. I kind of wanted uh, some kind of title with the picture of her kind of like looking, looking out into just looking like, I don't know. So the title is going to be something completely different. I'm not even going to use the happy little die cut, but it's pretty and ready to go for another page, I guess. So again, I'm asking her what she thinks. And so now I really like the way that, that looks and I wish I would have took a picture of it because um, I think one of the clusters ended up being a little bit different and I liked the way that it was before better. So it's okay though. 
I so like the way it turned out. So I'm going to take that Picked Raspberry Distress Ink and my blending tool here and go around the edge of this layer so it doesn't just blend in with the other paper. Um, I like to do that. I know that Tina Gale, <laughs> I love watching her, um, she does that a lot with her layers and I'm trying to get better at doing that because I have all these Distress Inks, I need to use them. So I'm trying to do that a little bit more um, so my pages um, pop, I guess, a little bit more. The paper pops off the page, um, especially when you're using like a white on white. So my ATG gun ran out of adhesive, probably because I'm doing a freaking video a day and <laughs> I'm using the crap out of it and I actually don't have any refills. <sighs> so I had to go and use my little, my little crappy recollections little tape runner here off to the side and I'm actually I think it's almost out too so I better go to Michael's with a coupon and get some um, this weekend because <laughs> if not I'm not gonna have anything to glue anything down with except um, tape <laughs> like regular tape which is not gonna happen so right now I am just gluing everything down I really really like the way that everything was looking at this little bow is so cute I am going to use some foam tape on some of the pieces because I want to add a little bit of dimension. This page is super colorful and if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I love a good white background or a good solid black background with a pop of color. Um, those are like my go-to kind of layouts, I guess, or backgrounds. And so this is a lot of pattern. This is a lot of pattern for me, you guys. So I felt like some of the embellishments were kind of getting lost with the pattern paper. So some of them I decided to pop up on the foam tape to help with that. But I really love the way that this page turned out. I love pattern paper. I absolutely love to look at pattern paper. But um, sometimes I'm a little intimidated by layering or not layering, but having pattern paper as my whole background and not having any, any um, like just plain like cardstock. And so even with these photos, I didn't put anything. I didn't put a mat behind them. I just left a white edge around the photos um, from where I printed them. And I really like the way that it turned out. I honestly... I'm going to have to play more with pattern paper because I love pattern paper. Like I said, it's so pretty and fun to play with and layer, but you don't, when you just layer them behind the photos, you don't see as much as the pattern as you could if you do the whole background with the pattern. So I'm happy with the way that this came out. My layering is getting a little bit better or my little embellishment clusters are getting better. Um, I feel like the more you practice, the better you get. And that's really, it's honestly the truth. <laughs> Um, so I'm taking some of the stickers from the sticker sheet and I'm going to layer them on top of the tag. So the ones that I used was Dream, Party, and Wishes. And then I was like, you know what, I want to use some of the chipboard stickers. So I'm going to end up using, I think, like one, I think. <laughs> I think that that little photo corner thing is the only one that I end up using. I try to use some, but I just didn't want to overdo it because there's so much pattern and I do, I do already have a lot of embellishments on this page. So I'm going to use some of these stickers um, for some more layering. This little circle one is really pretty with the floral on the one side. So I'm going to cut that in half because I couldn't get the whole thing under there. And then I'm going to put some of it there and then I'm going to put some of it right here below this label um, for a little extra layer to peek out. And I'm going to use some of these little la labels, and one of them says, love this. And I was going to use the letter stickers that came with this collection, but I'm really bad with using letters that have patterns on them. I love to buy them, but then they sit in my stash, and I don't use them. Um, I, I just felt like they're just getting lost. They're lost on the page. You're not going to be able to actually see what it says. For me, I just don't feel like it's going to look right. So I put them back. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to use them though. I feel like it would be better on a solid color, um, a white possibly. <laughs> so I go through, I go on a hunt 
through my thickers and I know what title I want to use and these this color would have been perfect but I didn't have the right letters so I pull this out and I'm like oh it's close but it's not the exact color that I want so I'm still looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and I don't have anything I was so disappointed I didn't have anything and I haven't bought thickers in a really long time like just letter thickers um so maybe I need to get on that but these I was like uh I don't know I don't know I think these are the only ones that are even close enough that might possibly look right or that might work. So I'm going to go with it. And in the end, I'm happy with it and I like the way that it looks. Now, I did have to make a Y with an X and a 1 because I had no Ys. Um, surprisingly, I don't know how that happened, but I didn't. So I just, just rig it up, you know, just cut it down, trim it, do whatever you need to do. And it's a little short, but it's okay. I'm happy with it. <laughs> so the title of this layout is going to be Daydreamer because to me, that's what she looks like she's doing. She just looks, it's, it's the daytime and she just looks like she's like spaced out dreaming about something. Um, she's got her fingers on her toes and she's just like spaced out, like space cadet kind of daydreaming. And I love it. I love the way that it looks. Now, I, was, I layered these two little pieces from the ephemera pack and wanted to use them, but I decided not to. It just wasn't going to fit anywhere. I just felt like up there it was just too much with the stars, so I'm going to go with another sticker. It's like a little label. I'm going to hang it off of the edge, and then I'm going to put one of the words, one of the word stickers on it that says celebrate. And I'm going to cut the excess off there on the side. And I'm going to grab my sequins. Yay! So I'm going to use the, let's see if I can get them out here, the Neat and Tangled sequins. And they are Pixie Dust, Pixie Dust, excuse me. And then I'm also going to use Spiegel Mom Scraps Fairy Garden. So that is going to be it. I'm going to place those sequins in a couple places and... Um, there will be some close-up photos at the end of this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the video a day for this month, and I hope that you guys are watching everybody else's videos. Um, happy birthday, Christy, if you're watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!